is another concern. Is it only sexually transmitted? Can delaying first sexual intercourse, limiting sexual partners, having safe sex prevent cervical cancer? Can one get infected by HPV from the toilet seat or the swimming pool? How long does this virus remain active? Interesting questions. Uh, to, to put it uh, very simply, yes, without uh, the presence of HPV, the likelihood of getting cervical cancer is almost zero. Uh, however, there are other factors uh, which are responsible or additional or supplementary factors that, you know, if you, again, going back to, you know, I keep going back because I think Partha and Anil gave such excellent uh, talks. So if you remember uh, what uh, Partha said, that only a small percentage of those infected would, you know, get the uh, advanced disease or get the, uh, you know, cervical cancer. So if you look at those people who get infected, in addition to the infection, if there are other trauma to the cervix, if there is repeated pregnancies, and at a, at, there are some studies also which have shown that you know using of use of tobacco or smoking also is uh, you know one of the uh, factors uh, which you know Im increases the chances of getting uh, cervical cancer. However, without HPV infection, you cannot get cervical cancer. Now, whether it is possible to be trans, yes, the question is if we are going to, you know, increase the age at marriage, definitely, absolutely, uh, it's going to uh, help in reducing the period during which women are uh, exposed to the infection. Two, uh, there are important changes which were not related to HPV, but related to HIV, where people started using barrier contraceptives like condoms. That's also very useful. Three, uh, that now if you see, I mean, the programs that most state governments or central governments have uh, put in place where there's a good quality water, so personal hygiene, the awareness regarding uh, women's uh, personal hygiene has changed. and. Uh, you know, people are using uh, uh, different uh, things for uh, their personal hygiene, which is again very useful. So improvement in understanding and improvement of personal hygiene is, is very good. And then I think something that's a topic which again that uh, saw recently, which the government has uh, kind of stepped up, is providing sanitary pads, disposable sanitary pads for women. That's, that's again something that's helpful, that's, that's going to, you know, uh, help in uh, improving the uh, hygiene and reducing the incidence of cervical cancer. 